basically I suffer from what's been diagnosed as the rage to master. All right? And there's people in the world that all they want to do is get better at what they do. And that's basically been four decades of what I've spent. I've done everything I can in self-protection. Uh, I grew up in a very difficult household and I had some difficult times and this is what's saying to me in life and said, here's your purpose. Here's how you can turn all that negativity into something positive and you can give back to your community and help them defend themselves. So kind of the dark guide through that side of it. Um, I am not a, I, I do specialize in a lot of things, but I believe that specificity is actually a problem because if we specialize too much in one thing, we lose all the other aspects of what we're doing. This class is not learning how to shoot or how to fight or how to use a SAP or how to use OC. It's the power of choice. How do I work choices and when do I make the choices and what's the best choice for me? You can always audit your skills in this class and see, well, maybe I need to take a jiu-jitsu class or maybe I need to take a shooting class. But what you're going to do is start from the first signs of the attack and work all the way through it, through the attack, and then immediately afterwards, and then the legal aftermath also. So I'm giving you a comprehensive goal of being able to take care of everything that happens in the self-defense. Now here's the thing, most of this happens in a compressed time period of about 10 seconds, but there's a lot of functions to it and you have to make really good decisions. And decisions that are made in advance allow you the power to living in the future. If you've already made that decision, you can simply be ready to do it. If you're reacting, you're very slow. And we're gonna talk about the human mechanism of reacting slowly, but it's very important to be able to cycle through this. We get fixated on tools, we get fixated on tactics and techniques, but you have to know when to use them. It's much more important. And you really don't need as many as you think. As a martial arts instructor, I can tell you a large majority of what I, I teach is not really necessary for self-defense. It's necessary for the high-level practitioner for them to get better. But a real self-defense class would be very, very limited in its scope. What's really important is teaching people how to think. Um, some of you have heard of Masada Yub, of course, uh, he, he lists the priorities as mental preparation, tactic skills, and equipment. Notice equipment goes dead last. That's what we spend all our time talking about it though. Everybody likes to talk about the equipment, but the mental preparation is what you're here for. We're gonna learn who you are. We're gonna learn how you make decisions. We're gonna learn where you're really weak in making decisions and how you react to stress. Most times, people don't see themselves very well, and that's part of what this class is. It is a mirror of who you really are under stress. And you're gonna find a couple of things that happen during the weekend, you're like, I really don't like the way I reacted to that. And it's gonna give you a chance to improve that. All right? And you're gonna find a couple areas where you're like, I did a pretty good job, <coughs> and that's gonna give you confidence. All right? As an, as an in instructor, I try to train four le or the three levels for you guys. One is unconscious competence. These are simply administrative skills. How do I move my feet? How do I move my hands? How do I draw a firearm? The next is conscious competence. What am I visualizing to do next? What is the next step in the decisional process? And then the last one is the self-image. Who do I believe myself to be? All right? If you don't believe yourself able or capable, you are not. All right? If you are hiding from those fears inside of you with a bunch of bravado, you're not. You're not ready. So we're gonna give you a chance to do this in the safety of where there's really nothing happening to you. There's no expectation. The worst that could happen is you have a little ego loss. All right? But it's not your thing. And the simple preparation for the event is very unique because it often deselects you from the event itself. Being able to carry yourself with a sense of purpose and understand what the cues in the environment are often deselect you from predation because predators don't want any part of that. So it's interesting, the more you train, the less likely the events is to happen. But if it does happen, you're gonna have some sort of plan. Uh, a bit about my background. I 